Today we are going to be doing a straight syringe stick where we are collecting blood directly into a syringe and then transferring it over into the tubes. The things that you are going to need are going to be an actual needle to attach to your syringe. Remember big vein, big needle, so 21 gauge or 22 gauge. You need your alcohol wipes, your gloves, cotton, tourniquet, coban, and of course your tubes. Good morning, my name is Leshawn. I'm from the lab. I'm going to be doing some blood on you today. Can you please tell me your name? Uh, Monique Bruno. Can you spell it for me, please? Uh, M-O-N-I-Q-B-R-U-N-A. And your date of birth? 11-3-91. And your ID number? 042. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. Have you ever passed on or fainted when giving blood? Are you allergic to latex? Yes. All right. Okay, so you want to cleanse off your site. Remember, use your concentric circles. <laughs> Remember, your tourniquet should be tight so that it's not rolled, but enough to constrict. Sorry. You need to push air out of your syringe. Make sure the bevel is up. Anchor back, stick quick. You're actually going to see blood that actually flows into the actual front part of the needle just like you would with a butterfly. You're going to go ahead, start to pull back. Remember, if you push the plunger too fast or pull the plunger too fast on a syringe, then you're actually going to be risking hemolysis. Now, you can use one hand to hold the needle in and the other hand to pull back, or you can just use one hand all together and pull back this way. <laughs> Remember your tourniquet tube needle, TTN. Tourniquet off first. Get your two by twos over the site. As you're pulling the syringe out, you need to pull back so that all of the needle is coming out and no blood will be in the bevel of the needle. It'll actually be housed in the syringe. I'm going to have you hold pressure for me. Transferring over, you want to make sure that you have your tube sitting in something so that you don't risk sticking your hand when you transfer over. The vacuum from the tubes will actually pull blood into the needle, from the needle into the tube. And then you can actually push as well. Remember not to push very fast because you risk hemolysis. When transferring from one tube to the next, you need to pull up on the plunger so that no blood leaks out. Transfer over into your next tube. If you notice, I did the green first and then the SST because the order of draw changes for a syringe draw. So the SST would be introduced last. And again, I can actually push blood into my tube. I want to make sure that it's steady pressure. And again, when removing it, I need to make sure that I pull up. This is going to go straight to the sharps. Tubes will still get inverted. And labeled. Ooh. Our five things that go on the tube are our patient's name. Patient's name, patient's ID, time, date, and please initials. So, Monique Luna, ID number? 0421. 0421. Today's date is 3 5 15. The time is 9 45, so 0945 hours, because we use military time. And my initials, LSC. Again, Monique Luna, 0421, date, 3515, 0945, LSC. Can you please verify?
verify that that information is correct? Can you please verify that this information is correct? All right. I just want to take a look at your site. Please leave this on for five to ten minutes. Let me check it off. Thank you.